Hi, in this video, we're going to do a math problem where we find a derivative using the product rule and the chain rule. So the function we have is f of x equals x squared times the square root of 1 plus x squared. The question is to find the derivative. Let's go ahead and go through it. Solution. So first, let's rewrite this in a more convenient way. Let's just write it all down again and change the square root uh, to an exponent. So this is really f of x equals x squared times, and then parentheses, 1 plus x squared to the 1 half. Because whenever you have the square root of x, that can be written as x to the 1 half. So here we have the square root of this stuff, so it's just this stuff to the 1 half. Now we're going to apply something called the product rule. The product rule says if you have two functions, I'll use h and g, and you take the derivative. Think of h as your first function and g as your second. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So this is called the product rule for derivatives. Again, derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So we're going to apply that here to this function f of x. So let's do it. f prime of x. All right, so the derivative of the first is the derivative of x squared. This one's really easy. We just use the power rule here. So bring down the two, subtract one. We just get two x to the first power, which is just two x. So that's the derivative of the first. That's our h prime times the second, so we just write it down again, no big deal, plus the first, so x squared, times, times the derivative of the second. So this is something to a power, so we're going to use the chain rule. We'll bring down the 1 half, so take the derivative of that outside function, leave the inside untouched, subtract 1 from the exponent, so 1 half minus 1 is really 1 half minus 2 halves, which is negative 1 half, times the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of x squared is 2x. Let's go over that derivative again, and then we'll go over the whole problem one more time. So we, we took this derivative, so we brought down the 1 half, left the inside untouched, subtract 1 from the exponent. Then times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of x squared is 2x. That's the chain rule. So going over it one more time from the beginning, we started by writing this to the 1 half power, Apply the product rule, derivative of the first times the second plus the first derivative of the second. And now we're in a good place. Let's clean this up a little bit. So we have f prime of x equals 2x, 1 plus x squared to the 1 half. And these twos cancel. It's going to give us plus x squared times x is x cubed, and then 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 half. Now you could leave your answer like this. We're going to do a pro move, though. We're going to clean this up in a very efficient way. And this is extremely useful, what I'm about to show you, okay? So watch this. What you want to do is you want to pull out uh, common terms, common factors, but you want to pull out the ones that have the smallest exponents. You might say, why? Well, if you were factoring, let's say, x to the fourth minus x squared, which one do you pull out? Well, you pull out x squared, right? And notice something. x squared has the smaller exponent. So same thing here. Okay, so we're going to pull out x, and we're going to pull out 1 plus x squared. Well, let's see. Which one is smaller, 1 half or negative 1 half? Well, negative 1 half is, so we pull that out. Just like that. That my 2 is a little weird. Let me clean that up. Let me clean up my 2. Make it look good. There we go. Times. I use a bracket. So now you say, what's missing here to get this? Well, we're missing a 2. And we're also missing 1 plus x squared to the first power. Because when you multiply these, you add the exponents, right? Negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. So something to think about. I'm going to erase the 1, but it's really there, right? It's really actually there. What's missing here? Well, it looks like you're just missing an x squared, right? Because you've already got the 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 half. So boom. So f prime of x is equal to x, parentheses, 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 half, parentheses, and let's see what's going on here. So you have 2 plus 2x squared plus x squared. Beautiful, right? Really nice. Now we can add these x squareds. 2x squared plus x squared is 3x squared. So you have f prime of x equals x, 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 half, and then we have 2 plus 3x squared. You can leave it like this. Or you can bring this back downstairs and turn it into a square root if you like. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to leave it like this because this is perfect. So, yeah. 
really interesting problem. Um, this technique of factoring is super useful and it comes up a lot in calculus when you're doing problems like when you're finding critical numbers or possible inflection points. Um, when you're doing those things in calculus, this type of factoring is, is very beneficial. Remember, just take out the one that has the smallest exponent and it will work out. Things will work out for you. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. And if you want to learn math, check out my courses, mathsorcerer.com. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.